Nick, uh, myself Rajkumar, working as a postdoctoral researcher in the School of Postgraduate Studies and the Research. Uh, this semester, I'm going to take the subject uh, Communication Theory uh, module. The subject code is triple E three one zero. The Communication Theory module uh, which covers the you know, five learning outcomes. Uh, so this session we are going to talk about the learning outcome one. Uh, in that, uh, the first of the uh, review of the probability and the random variables. So probability. So mathematically, uh, the probability is a mathematical framework for the study of random phenomena. So, which means um, uh, there are several the random events are occurring day to day life. Uh, we can say that, um, for example, uh, the occurrence of the rain. Uh, what is the um, probability of occurrence of the event uh, for today? So, that is a uh, random event. We can't. Uh, we can say whether uh, we can't uh, say um, whether today um, rain will be happening or not. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but we can uh, we can uh, predict that uh, event, the occurrence of the event, that is the whether the rain will be happening or not, uh, based on the uh, your past uh, uh, occurrence of the event. So, for example. Uh, the uh, past few days uh, the rain was happening which means uh, and today uh, also there is a chances for rain okay. so the, if the climate condition is the same like the uh, past uh, days or uh, in, uh, in past few days uh, uh, there is no there is no cloud uh, okay so that uh, there is a clear sky and then uh, uh, we can say that uh, the probability of occurrence of uh, rain for today is uh, very less. Okay. So based on that, uh, the past event, uh, we can predict uh, what will be the uh, possibility for occurrence of the rain for today. So that uh, that past event, uh, we can call as uh, that is a, um, a condition. The already the rain was happened. Uh, or already the rain was not happening based on that we can predict. Okay, uh, that is called a conditional probability. Uh, the conditional probability uh, playing very vital role in wireless communication. Uh, so to uh, to find out the probability of error and uh, to estimate the uh, mean square error. Uh, so like that, many places uh, we are using that uh, conditional probability. We can discuss in detail in the upcoming session. Okay, and another uh, example for the random event: uh, the weather condition for the different time, like morning, afternoon, and the evening. That uh, we can we can't say all the time the humidity will be equal, the temperature will be equal. It will be different different upon the time in morning, afternoon, evening, uh, evening. That is another example for the, the random event. And uh, another example <laughs> for the random event is uh, the occurrence of the, the occurrence of the accident in the uh, particular area. So uh, that's why uh, few, uh, that's why that uh, in some places uh, they kept the border uh, go slowly with the accident zone. So that, that, that is another example for the, the uh, random event. Okay. Then another example, uh, the, the occurrence of the, the new diseases in the particular area. Okay. Uh, because some uh, places, some uh, places that uh, the environment may not be, uh, may not be good, it will be polluted area means uh, some factory, some other, uh, uh, problem because of that time um, the diseases will be easily affected in the particular area that is another uh, random event the occurrence of the new diseases okay so 
So these are the example for the occurrence of the, the, the example for the random event. Naturally, it was happening. Uh, so we have to uh, predict what is the um, probability for the occurrence of the uh, future event. Okay. okay. <coughs> So definition wise, uh, the probability means the chance that a given event uh, will occur. Okay. Uh, the given event, uh, uh, it may be, a, uh, as I said, uh, it may be a uh, chances of occurrence of rain, chances of uh, the occurrence of the accident, and so on. Okay. So that is the uh, basically we can use the definition for the probability. Uh, the, the chance of the uh, event A uh, is uh, measured by a number X. So mathematically, B of A equal to X. That means the probability of uh, occurrence of event A uh, equal to X is uh, some number. It may be 0.5, it may be 1, or it may be 0. Okay. But uh, uh, we are using that uh, measurement tool or predictive tool for the probability of the event, occurrence of the event, the P of A, uh, which is varies from zero to one, okay? Uh, the one means uh, the probability of occurrence of the event is 100 percentage is possible. Uh, one best example, I can say that, um, uh, so the early morning, uh, sun will be rising from the east only. So that is the, the, the probability of occurrence of the, uh, Rising of sun in the early morning is always east. So uh, that is the probability. Of, uh, that, then the probability uh, of that particular event is maximum. So we can say that the one. Okay. So that is the, in the range. Um, usually we are using the measure the probability of the any uh, of the event. Okay. And then event may be occur or uh, not occur. So depend upon the chain of the circumstances. Okay, so uh, means uh, because uh, so always uh, we can't uh, expect the same event will be occurred for the every experiment. So the experiment A for the uh, event A may occur in the first experiment. Means in second experiment may not be occurred. Okay, uh, so because it is a random, and the chain uh, is also called as the another name experiment or trial. Okay. Uh, the, the result of this experiment is called its outcome. Uh, for example, to, uh, uh, by tossing a coin, uh, we know that there are two sides, a head and a tail. Uh, while tossing a coin, there are, uh, there are possibility of occurrence of event. Either it may be a head or it may be a tail. Okay, uh, for a single experiment. But from that single experiment, uh, we can't uh, come to conclusion this is the actual outcome of the particular uh, experiment, particular uh, object. Okay. So in order to uh, find out the uh, actual outcome of the particular uh, uh, event, uh, outcome of the particular experiment, okay, we can do the, the same experiment in uh, n number of times, large number of times, okay, or large number of trials, so that we can get the, the actual outcome of the particular experiment. Okay, we will discuss some important terms and uh, uh, notation which is used in the uh, probability theory. The first term is uncertainty. Uh, usually, we are using that word uncertainty uh, for prediction of the future events. Uh, especially in wireless communication, there is a transmitter and receiver. Okay, in the transmitter, the first block is information source. Uh, the, the information will be transferred in the form of a binary numbers, zeros and ones. This example, you can see that uh, the information is entered in the uh, information source block. So first, three zeros are coming. After that, two ones are entering. Then next, uh, there is an uncertainty to predict whether the incoming bits are zero or one. Uh, we, we don't know. That is a random. Uh, 
uh, the information entering into the information source uh, is random in nature so that uh, uh, we can't uh, say it is uncertainty then coming to the second term, set term. Set is the most important term, which is used in the probability theory. Uh, set means the collection of objects or numbers uh, that represent those objects. Okay. Uh, so for, uh, again, you can take the uh, example as example, uh, tossing a coin or uh, tossing a pie. Uh, uh, for convenience, we can uh, take the uh, tossing a coin, okay? Uh, then uh, for each and then the tossing a coin, uh, it can produce the uh, two possible outcomes uh, at the time. So then the set contains uh, the outcomes head and the outcomes time. Okay, this is the uh, possible outcomes. Uh, it is represented as a set. Okay, and uh, in many places the set is uh, using different. Uh, uh, different ways. Um, okay, the notation z. You can see here the z uh, represents the set of integers um, which is present in the particular set. Uh, it may be one to ten, or it may be a ten to twenty, or one to hundred, and so on. But it is an integer number. Uh, it may it may contain minus negative integers also minus one, minus two, and so on. Uh, okay. Then if you use the notation z. Uh, Plus, uh, this uh, indicate the, the set which contain the only positive integer numbers which include the zeros. Okay. Then uh, the simple R capital R indicate the a set which contain the uh, real numbers. Real, real number means which contain not only integer, but they are, it also contain the fractional numbers. Okay. Similarly, R plus indicate the, the positive real numbers. Oh, it contains the only positive real numbers, including zero. Then the notation C indicates the, uh, the, the set which contains the, uh, the num set of uh, complex numbers. And coming to say another uh, uh, set C, which is equal to 1, comma 5, uh, it is closed by the open and the close parenthesis. This set notation uh, represents which uh, contain all the real numbers except one and five. If we are using parentheses, then coming to another set B, which is uh, again it varies from one to five, but it is closed by the square bracket. So which means this set contains all real number, including the n points one and five. And one more, uh, we, we are using that notation A belongs to A, uh, which means that the element A or event A is belongs to in the set to A. That is the meaning of A belongs to A, where A is a set, A, capital A is a set, and a small A is an element of the particular set. And uh, A Okay, so here this symbol indicates the subset. A is subset of B. Okay. Uh, and this also frequently we, we will use in the probability theory, this notation. And the uh, pi indicates the empty set. And sample space. Sample, uh, sample space means uh, which contain the set of all possible outcome of an experiments. Uh, for example, if you uh, are tossing a, uh, tossing a die, uh, the die has the totally six, uh, six uh, okay, okay or, uh, six, uh, six sides, okay. Uh, then, uh, then what are the possible outcomes of the die means? Uh, one, two, three, four, up to six. So these are the possible, all possible outcomes of the particular experiments. Uh, then uh, sample space which is denoted by uh, capital S equal to uh, S1, S2 up to all the outcomes. Uh, and it should be satisfy the uh, two properties. The set should be, here set means uh, it varies from S1 to uh, up to the SN, last uh, possible outcomes. 
But uh, in sample space, the set should be uh, satisfy the two properties. One is uh, it must be exhaustive. So what is the meaning of exhaustive means? Uh, exhaustive uh, set is a set uh, which contain all possible outcomes of the escapement set. If, the, if, uh, if you take the toss in a coin, definitely two possible outcomes. If you take the toss in a dime, it uh, definitely have the six possible outcomes. So like that. If the set which uh, contain all possible outcomes, then we can say it is uh, exhaustive. The set is exhaustive. And uh, it also satisfies the another uh, property that is set must be mutually exclusive. So mutually exclusive means that <coughs> the outcome of the one experiment does not depend on the outcome of the another experiment. Each experiment outcome is independent to each other. Then uh, that uh, kind of uh, uh, set we can call it mutually exclusive. Uh, if, you take, if you take the uh, toss in a coin, the first time we are doing the experiment, we are getting uh, head. Second time when we are doing that experiment uh, by tossing a coin, we are getting the tail. But uh, not to get the uh, not to get the uh, tail, there is no uh, that uh, it, the getting tail does not depend on the the previous um, experiment uh, getting uh, uh, head. So both experiments are independent. So in this case, we can say that it is a mutually exclusive event. Okay. Uh, then the term event, okay. So the event is uh, differ from the sample space, uh, but a uh, sample space uh, event having the uh, number of uh, uh, outcomes, but in sample space containing all possible outcomes, but even containing only few outcomes depend upon the requirement. So which means uh, we can say that uh, even means the subset of the sample space. So subset which contain only few sample points uh, of the uh, sample points of the sample spaces. Okay. So it may be a zero sample point, maybe one or more sample points. That is called even. Then the parameter uh, we are using uh, one more property uh, we are using in uh, probability theory is empirical law of large numbers. Okay. So empirical uh, law of large numbers uh, we are using in probability theory uh, to describe the, the result by performing the same experiment large number of times. Okay, already I mentioned that uh, uh, the large number of uh, uh, doing the experiment, same experiment, large number of times. Why we are doing means in order to uh, predict the actual outcome of the particular experiment. Because uh, by doing that uh, experiment one or two times, uh, we can't uh, predict the actual outcomes. So that we have to do that uh, same experiment a large number of times, uh, so that we can come to conclusion to predict the uh, that uh, probability of the particular event. Okay, let uh, take the event here. Okay, it is absolute on any trial of the experiment. Okay, and now repeat the experiment n number of times, then observe how many times event A has occurred. Then it is denoted by NJ. Okay, so NJ means uh, the how many times uh, the event A occurred. But a capital N means the total number of experiments. The, by taking the ratio n a by n, uh, we will get the. Uh, we can say that the ratio n a by n is the relative frequency of occurrence of the event a. Right? Okay. Uh, this ratio approaches a definite limit uh, when n becomes very large. <coughs> definite limit means that's why. Uh, why we go for a uh, uh, the same experiment a large number of times, uh, not to get the definite limit. Uh, so that means uh, we can, after that, uh, there is no changes. That is the meaning of definite limit. Uh, we can predict the exam, we can uh, almost predict the actual outcome of a particular uh, experiment, particular uh, event. Okay, that is the meaning of definite limit. Under such condition, we can say the probability of event A 
is the ratio of n a by n when n tends to infinity. Then the every probability uh, of the event, occurrence of event is a non-negative number. It is not a negative number. It is, a, it is varies from uh, minimum of the probability is zero. Maximum of the probability of occurrence event is one. It is varies from zero to one. Okay. So next uh, video we'll discuss about the sample space uh, and uh, what are the different properties we are using in sample space.